I come across a news story today that actually made me pretty mad. Not because it was bad or anything, it was because, well, I'm not the one that thought of it. Now, if you're a subscriber to this channel, which I'm sure you are, you would know that I like to bring you a lot of deals, power tool deals to the channel so you can save some money. And you see, that's the problem. When you look at power tool deals, you're thinking about the money that you could be saving, not the money you could be making. Let me explain. Now, as I was looking up my daily search inquiry, I ended up stumbling across a news story by somebody named Nick Davis from Newsbreak. And when I read the title, I gotta be honest with you, I was intrigued. So how are people exactly making thousands of dollars by reselling items from Lowe's and Home Depot and well, a lot of other places? It's so simple, let me show you. So in today's video, we're gonna use the Home Depot for an example. We're just gonna type it into Google and well, click on their homepage. You can see right away that well, deals start popping up. First one that grabs my attention is this rigid high torque impact wrench. Now you're gonna get the two bat rays, you're gonna get the charger, you're going to get the actual impact wrench and well, the soft bag. But check this out right here. You're saving 53% if you were to buy this right now. Let me show you one more. This is the Milwaukee IA Shockwave Impact Duty Alloy Steel Screwdriver. It's set with pack out case 220 pieces. This right here, is 56% off for $69. You're saving $89. But you see, there's another genius way to go about this. Now, what a lot of people don't understand is when you find a deal online, sometimes that's only for your store. Not everybody's getting that deal. But what about the end caps? And that is where the major amounts of money are saved. You see, sometimes when a tool doesn't sell as well or a product doesn't sell as well, they'll put it on clearance or maybe it's something that's going out of style and there's a new version coming out, a new generation of tool. They just want to move the previous generation and you're going to save big bucks from that. And you see, that's what's genius about it. These deals, these clearance items might not be available at other stores, only the local store that that shopper was purchasing it from. So then they buy that tool or item and then they start their own seller page. Now, some people might think about putting on the Facebook market page, but that's not always a great idea because the people that you're going to be selling to are the local people that are going to get the exact same deals that you just found. However, there are a couple other places that sellers are using such as well, Amazon and eBay. Now just for an example, if you look at Ryobi right here, Ryobi doesn't sell to Amazon or eBay. These are third party sellers that probably use the exact same trick that we're talking about today. It's the same thing with Rigid. Rigid and Ryobi sell directly to the Home Depot, but if you look at the new oscillating pool from Rigid, well, it's $99. You're only saving about $9, but it's still probably cheaper than what you're finding on the Home Depot. So the people that are coming to Amazon and eBay are looking at these tools saying, well, they're five or six dollars cheaper than what I would find at my local store. I'll just buy it from here and I'll get the free shipping. So then they buy that tool or item and then they start their own seller page. And well, this is how people are making thousands of dollars using this hack from Home Depot, Lowe's and a ton of other places. Now with many things, this isn't a hundred percent fail safe. There's a couple things you need to remember as a seller and a buyer. Let's talk about the issue for the sellers. Do you remember that Shockwave bit set that I showed you that was on sale? Well, that thing has been on sale for the last two months. So if you go out and buy a bunch of these thinking you're going to recoup your money immediately, that might not be the case. You might be sitting on these tools for a very long time if you ever get to sell them. Number two for the sellers, there's a lot of people that are probably doing this. So even if you do have an Amazon or an eBay seller page, you might rank very low and never get your item pushed out. So if you end up with 53,000 Shockwave bit sets, well, that's on you. But the biggest and most important thing that you need to know is for the consumer, the buyer, the person that's gonna purchase these tools off of Amazon and eBay. So we'll use Rigid for example. They have a really good return policy or if something happens to that tool where it just breaks after a year of use, you're gonna get a lifetime limited warranty on that. But the way you get that warranty is you actually have to sign up on the Rigid page. And the way you do that is using a receipt. If that receipt doesn't come from the Home Depot, well, no warranty for you. So up front, you might be saving a little bit of money because you bought that tool at a lower price. However, within the next two, three, four, five years, if something happens to that tool, you're not going to be able to get it serviced, which leads you to losing money. And that doesn't just work for Rigid. I mean, if you're buying a Ryobi, a Rigid, Milwaukee IA, anything, you definitely gotta be careful because you might not get those warranties covered. But if you don't care about that, 
you might be able to save a few dollars buying them this way. But I always suggest you look around, do your due diligence, stop by this channel because we always bring you the best deals and just make sure you know what you're spending your money on. And for those that are doing this, hats off to you. If you're making money and able to supplement your income or actually quit your job like, like they say in this article here, well, congratulations. But of course, I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Always love hearing that sweet, sweet feedback. Got a couple of videos for you right here. We'll be back with more videos soon.